Rostec State Corporation's United Engine Corporation, UEC, has launched an information technology system for the after-sales service of civil aviation aircraft engines. This system includes the PD-14 for the MC-21 aircraft and the PD-8 for the SJ-100. UEC specialists will be able to monitor data on power unit usage throughout their entire life cycle, while operators will be able to rapidly access current technical documentation through the advanced digital platform. The complete after-sales service information system has been tested and worked well at companies like UEC Aviat Vigatel, UEC Perm Motors, UEC Saturn, and UEC Klimov, as well as within the United Engine Corporation. The system comprises numerous modules, including technical publications management, power unit fleet management, and customer support center. A unified space has been established for interaction with operating companies, and the service maintenance processes for power units have been automated. To enhance the operational efficacy and reliability of the engines, the system also records their operating parameters. The Customer Support Center service enables the timely receipt and processing of requests for technical and informational support and consultations on the operation of aircraft engines. Max Ischenko, who is the service director at UEC, said, The implementation of the corporate information system will automate life cycle management during their operation and after-sales service processes for PD-14, PD-8, and TV-7117ST civil aviation engines. The platform launch has demonstrated the effective functioning of all system modules and has enabled the creation of a unified information space for UEC's interaction with customers. The architecture and functionality of the new information system meet modern international standards. The Engineering Center for Information and Analytical Systems is responsible for the development and implementation of the new digital solution for aircraft engine after-sales service, while RT Project Technologies, a subsidiary of Rostec, serves as an integrator and the project is being executed with their assistance. Mikhail Kaluski, CEO of RT Project Technologies, says, The comprehensive after-sales service information system is built on a fundamental software platform with a modern technology stack and technological sovereignty. The aviation cluster, automotive industry, and UEC enterprises use the system successfully. This approach to developing such systems, along with the software used, has great potential for deployment at other Rostec enterprises. The automotive industry he is referring to may be the Aurus project. The system is designed to operate on a one-stop shop principle, enabling corporate clients to access essential information for efficient engine operation and logistical support analysis through a portal. At the UEC Aviat Vigatel Enterprise in Perm, the Technical Support Center for the Corporate After-Sales Service Information System will be established. UEC, GE, and Rolls-Royce have developed digital platforms that exhibit numerous similarities. Advanced digital platforms for engine management and after-sales service have been implemented by both European and U.S. corporations, including General Electric and Rolls-Royce. To improve efficiency and minimize disruption, these platforms frequently incorporate digital twins, real-time monitoring, and predictive maintenance. In addition, these organizations furnish comprehensive customer support through digital portals, which facilitate access to technical documentation and support services akin to UEC's methodology. Although these similarities exist, there are significant distinctions. UEC puts technological sovereignty first by using a modern technology stack that relies less on software from other countries, a strategic goal of Russian businesses. Conversely, U.S. and European organizations frequently implement a combination of domestic and international technologies. The system developed by UEC also seeks to offer flexibility to different Rostec businesses, including the automotive industry. Such approaches may not be as common in U.S. or European companies, where industry-specific solutions are more prevalent. The regulatory environment also has a substantial impact on UEC, as it is subject to specific Russian regulations and sanctions. These variables can affect its technology choices and partnerships in comparison to U.S. and European companies that operate under distinct regulatory frameworks. Russia is the primary source of design and manufacturing for Russian engines. This emphasis on domestic production has the potential to improve control over the supply chain and reduce dependence on foreign components. 
possibly simplifying servicing and maintenance. For instance, Russia is implementing advanced technologies like composite materials and 3D printing to establish self-sufficiency in aircraft engine production, as demonstrated by the PD-14 and PD-35 engines. Conversely, engine manufacturers in the United States and the European Union, including General Electric and Rolls-Royce, frequently operate with global supply chains. Their operation necessitates the coordination of multiple international suppliers, which can complicate logistics and maintenance. Consequently, they procure components from various countries. However, this global network also allows them to leverage specialized technologies and expertise worldwide, potentially enhancing engine performance and reliability. In terms of serviceability, Russian manufacturers may find it simpler to service their engines if they have a more localized supply chain, as they may have more control over the production and distribution of parts. Nevertheless, the efficacy of this method is contingent upon the efficiency of the after-sales service systems and the quality and reliability of the domestically produced components. The global nature of the supply chains of U.S. and EU manufacturers may provide them with access to a wider range of technologies and experts, which can also make their products easier to service through larger support networks. However, Russian engines may be better at controlling the supply chain. In the final analysis, the efficacy of engine servicing is contingent upon a combination of strategic partnerships, logistical efficiency, and technological capabilities. Now, do you think Russia will be able to better manage after-sales service than the Western counterparts? Isn't spare parts availability the biggest problem with Russian equipment? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.